So, I don't know what I would do without my guides because that's the help that comes to us to help. It comes in many forms. Um, it can come through Divine Spirit directly, and then there are many, many, many messengers of that love. And that's what we're going to talk tonight about, is how to um, really form a tighter, stronger connection with your messenger, with your guides, with your um, unseen and maybe seen um, spirit helpers. And I imagine in this group, um, Probably most people, or maybe not, I don't know, raise hands, have had that presence, that feeling of being guided, of having a, I would think, yeah, you know, because it's really, it's funny, because it's so real and it's so prevalent. And um, I'm going to begin by talking about um, the different categories. And, and I use these categories loosely because they do at times overlap, but just to be clear about who we're talking about. Um, I'm going to kind of break them down. Uh, and again, there are exceptions to everything I say, so keep, and I know that. So, um, all right. So, our guides. There are angel guides, and angels are pure emanations of divine spirit. They've never been incarnated as physical people, um, and they're always direct rays of energy of the highest form of love, that energy, God, divine spirit. 